are making delicious Korean vegetable pancakes and they are loaded with veggies like carrots loaded. and cucumbers and scallions. Hey guys, so today I am going to show you all how I do my voiceovers. So many of you have been so nice and been saying that, you know, the recipes are so easy to follow. They're really nice to, you know, watch and 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 how excited I am when I am, I guess, explaining everything. That is very true, like almost all of the time. But sometimes, and those of you who have ever edited videos before, you know, if I'm having a hard time with the voiceover or if I don't really because I don't really plan the script of what I'm going to say on all of these videos it can end up taking a really long time like it might be my fifth take of being like hey we're making scallion pancakes today and they're just so delicious and lovely and you know so for sure you know on take one I was very excited of explaining it to you all but definitely by you know like take five um, it does take a little bit of work. Yeah, so I thought that I would just bring you guys to this uh, little process today. Um, I have my Blue Yeti mic. I'll kind of give you guys all of the, the information of what I use down below, but really I'm just, I'm just doing it on my Mac laptop and then I have this mic connected. So sometimes I'll edit on Final Cut and then sometimes I'll just edit on um, iMovie because it's just a lot easier and it's already on this computer so well, that's what we're gonna do today and I, I guess I'll just screen capture it and I think because uh, it doesn't it doesn't capture the audio so I'm not gonna do this with headphones um, just so that you guys can hear the music and, and, and what I'm doing as well okay so what I've done is I've kind of pre-edited all of the clips already um, I'll trim it down here and there but in general these are kind of all cut and put into place um, already and then something that you all should know about <laughs> as I'm taking this magic away from you all um, in terms of, uh, of voiceovers is I I've realized from you guys actually that you don't like too much information in the videos. Like I used to, when I, when I started off, you know, like three years ago, I used to want to tell you all everything. And I think I, for the most part, I still do, but I've come to sort of learn that if I have additional information, I should kind of put that bit in a blog, in a written format so that you guys can read it afterwards. Because when you say too much in the voiceovers, it has a tendency to kind of overload the video and then you guys get stressed out from listening to it and then I kind of get a little bit um, quicker in my speech. I, I start talking a lot quicker and that also makes you guys uh, really nervous as well. So those are just some things that I've picked up and it's it's feedback from you all. So, um, so I've learned to not really speak too quickly during my voiceovers and um, something that you'll realize and it's something that I've been doing a little bit more recently as I've listened to myself more and more. Uh, that's the other thing is, you know, sometimes you guys do comment about about the voice and, 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 you know, the music being too loud. But for every second that you hear of me, I probably, I hear it like five times over and over again during, um, during my edits. What was I saying before? Yeah, so something that I've realized and I've just started uh, to kind of play more around with is, um, during my voiceovers, you will realize that I speak slower. Um, uh, you know, like if I'm talking to you in real life, I'll just be talking to you like this. Oh, hey, how's everything going? How's the pumpkin? How's the, how's the kids? How's Halloween? Yada, yada, yada. So we'll talk in that pace. But if I start talking in that pace on the videos, um, again, it's, it's one of those things where it's information overload. Y'all get stressed out and it's not necessarily a great uh, video to watch. I guess it depends on the vibe that you're going for, but this is something that I've realized as well. So when you watch this, you will see that I tend to talk a little bit slower in the videos. But when you put in the music and when you put in the videos and everything and you're in your head's getting all this information, it feels more comfortable than than um, than it actually looks. Um, and then what else? Um, I mean, just tips for you guys, if you guys are looking to, you know, start your own channel and do your own voiceovers or whatnot, um, specifically for cooking, is sometimes people don't want you to talk all the time. 
meaning like I've started to really let um, you guys have a break, let the music go, let you guys just watch what's happening versus having to explain everything because you don't need to explain everything. Like people can see that you're stirring, people can see that you're mixing. And kind of what that break does is gives you a chance to kind of listen to the music, to see what I'm doing, to process all of that information that I've just said. And I find that that makes the recipe seem also, you know, simpler to uh, actually achieve as well. Not that it's not, uh, and I do do my best in terms of how I explain it to you all, but I, I realize that that's a thing too. And then picking the music is such a biggie like uh, for, for anything, for like movies, for film, for commercials, for anything. Music is what drives the, the video along because it, it can potentially be like, if you've watched like vloggers or whatnot, it can potentially be a very, very boring video to see like what I eat in a day, what I do in a day, da 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 da. Um, without the music in the background that's driving it along, it's just not, um, it's very difficult to watch, so. I spend so much time just listening to, to music that I can put in, in these um, cooking videos. And it is very, very difficult because most of the music online is really made for vlogs. It has like a very strong, you know, beat to it. it it's, it's very, it can be very dramatic. So it's great for vlogs. It's great for travel vlogs and, and whatnot, but it's not, it's not good for cooking videos. Because cooking videos, you kind of, you want it to be kind of a little bit upbeat, not not too loud, just something in the background that will drive, you know, kind of the recipe forward. If you guys have tracks that you like, please send them over because I, I am always, I listen to so much music and I know that sometimes it's not, doesn't match the tastes of you all. Oh, I also do something really stupid. It's sort of like you have to act like you're happy to sound like you're happy. Not that I'm not happy, but I, I am happy. Uh, it's just sometimes you'll see me like, smiling as I say something, it just makes it sound better. I don't know, it sounds kind of fake, but let's head over to the video. Hey everyone, so today we're gonna make Korean Pajon pancakes and um, these guys are just so, so delicious. Oh, I say so, so delicious, sorry, I'm like moving this. I say so, so delicious all the time and it sounds so stupid. Hey everyone, so today we are gonna be making really delicious Korean vegetable pancakes. And they are loaded with like scallions and cucumbers and carrots, and they are finished off with this amazing garlic soy sauce. And it's just all really so, so yummy. So I can't wait to show you all the recipe. So I don't know if you guys could see that, but I was kind of trying to smile all the way through. Somebody told me this on stream before, is um, that I actually uh, do voiceovers a lot differently from most people. So when I used to actually, when I used to work um, in the television stations in Boston, and I would write for some of the reporters, they actually had the reporters read the voiceover before they saw the clips, right? So uh, essentially you write the script, they read the script, and then you pair the videos with the voiceover. But what I'm doing, which is a little bit differently, is I'm actually watching the videos in real time and I'm pairing essentially my voiceover to what I see on the video. And I I find that that's a lot easier for me and it's and, and I'm able to kind of react the, to the video in a way that a, a person who has done like a pre-recorded um, voiceover cannot. So I think, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit more work here just because like if I screw up, then I'll have to kind of redo it again. But um, I actually like this method a lot better. So I don't, I don't know, do you guys do it the other way or do you guys, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so that was not um, too bad. I got through that pretty quickly. And now I usually like to give it a little bit of break so that you guys can enjoy some of the music before I break into, I guess, my next thing. So just waiting for that point in the music where I should start, like naturally it would sound good. <clears throat> 
Okay, so I'm gonna start off by um, cutting up some leeks with this handy dandy device, and I'll link that um, actually down below, but I'm gonna work with leeks, zucchini, and then um, a little bit of carrots. Uh, I look very bright. I turned on the ring light because it's like dark. Let's try that again. Okay, so I am starting off by uh, cutting up some leeks with this handy dandy device and I will link that actually down below, but I want around two and a half to three cups of vegetables and I'll be working with um, leeks, zucchini, and then um, some carrots as well. You just want vegetables that don't really emit too many liquids. So now I'm gonna listen to it again because I don't think I smiled enough during that voiceover because okay, so sometimes it sounds boring. Okay, so I am starting off by uh, cutting up some leeks with this handy dandy device and I will link that actually down below. But I want around two and a half to three cups of vegetables and I'll be working with uh, leeks, zucchini, and then... I can already tell that I think I'm speaking a little okay. bit too quickly or I'm, or I'm trying to jam. Yeah jam too many things in, so I'm just gonna gonna clean that up a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by um, cutting up some leeks with this handy dandy device, and I will put that link down below, but you want somewhere between two and a half to three cups of vegetables. Okay, I think, am I still recording this? Why? Up some leeks with this handy dandy device, and I will put that link down below, but you want somewhere between two and a half to three cups of vegetables. Now I'm just cutting up all of the vegetables, right? So that's gonna be kind of the, the time when you don't hear my voice, you get to relax a little bit and, and just watch what happens. <laughs> So as I'm watching this, I am also, again, trimming down some of the clips some more, making sure that the cuts in the clips also, I mean, this gets into a little bit of the editing, but making sure that the cuts of the clips also coincide with like the changes in music, right? Cause that helps you flow, uh, helps everything flow along. Also just to, just to make sure that everything is quick enough. Cause sometimes like, uh, if, if I'm just watching it and it seems like, oh, this is dragging a little bit too long, I'll also kind of like cut down everything um, as well. I will probably be listening to that a couple more times just to like fix it up, but I have these tendencies like every other person where I will fill in spaces and gaps with like, um, with the word like, I use the word so a lot, which I guess if you don't really pay attention, you don't really know, but because I'm gonna be going back at least two more times just to like listen to everything and make sure that everything is good. Um, these are the things that I pick up on, so. Anyways, you all, I hope you um, enjoyed watching that. Hope you guys all learned something or took something away from it or maybe found the video slightly interesting. If any of you have any questions, definitely comment down below and I'll try to get to answering all of it. I know that it's a little bit different from the types of videos that I usually do, but um, hopefully you all found that kind of interesting to watch. Okay, uh, yeah, I will, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.